So Lizzo was at the, I don't watch these awards at the moment. She was winning an award for her music or something, her video or something like that. If you could have fooled me, I thought she won an award for the most oppressed black woman on TV or something. What? I thought she won an award for being the most oppressed black well, singer. <laughs> she mentioned while getting her award that she's, man, just watch this stupid video. <laughs> music video for good means but i do know what your vote means and that's a lot your vote means everything to me it means everything to making a change in this country so remember when you're voting for your favorite artist vote to change some of these laws that are oppressing us what laws (laughs) <laughs> what laws are you talking about? Are there laws out there preventing big black women from voting? <laughs> them, uh, that thing, that contraption she was wearing, looked like you was wearing two black helmets over your breast. You know them Chinaman hats? Them who? Them Chinese hats. Uh-huh. The Chinaman be wearing? Oh, it looked like those, huh? Yeah. Chinaman hats. Ain't that cultural appropriation what you're doing? <laughs> you, oppress- you oppressing Chinese culture. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but serious, you talk about your you're insinuating that you're an, you're oppressed. I mean, I've never seen an oppressed woman that that thick. Yeah, usually they're skinny and sucked up, and they're like dying yeah. to eat something. It looks like you definitely get more than three square meals a day, and they don't dress like this neither. Yeah, oppressed I know that people are very frugal in the way they dress. Yeah, you wearing a lot of money right now. All that chain action you got going. All that damn chain action you got going. I hope that damn chain don't get caught on nothing, because you're going to need damn plastic surgery on your face and your ears. You're going to rip all that shit up. Yeah, it's too risky. What we're trying to say is too risky. You got a beautiful face. You don't want to mess that up. You have a pretty face. Yeah, you're a beautiful woman. You're thick, but you're beautiful. Yeah, you got a, seriously, you got a pretty face. Don't mess that up. I mean, your face is perfect. Nose to lips, eyes, it's just, you have a perfect face. I ain't even bullshitting you. (laughs) That, but, face, that 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 skin on their face is flawless too. Yeah, if my mom was still alive. She was the first thing that was coming out of my mouth. Lizzo, man, she's got the beautiful skin. That's the first thing you say. Look like you look like you've been airbrushed. Yeah, but seriously, um, oppressed. Okay, you talk about we need to vote and change some of these laws that's oppressing us. As a black person, I can't think of any law that's oppressing me right now. So yeah. you could have filled everybody in what the hell's going on, because <laughs> I like to know how the hell I'm getting oppressed. Yeah. I mean, you keep saying that you're oppressed. Or are you referring to black people as being oppressed? I don't get it. You, you, It's impossible. It's, impo- it's an impossibility for you to be oppressed. Look at your house. What yeah, is this thing, like yeah. $27 million? Yeah, I think it's $26 million. It's up in L.A. Look at the view. Man, look at the view. I'll pose it right there. Man, that is beautiful. Man, look at the mountains back there. Man, Lizzo live in that house. Look at that sofa. Look, look at them. At the look at them love seats. That's like, I guarantee you, them couches about fifty grand, man. At least. That's a tile leather that, right there. I bet you the pillows on them damn sofas is fifty thousand each. Look at the pool. Got man, some, that's a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar pool you got going. It's probably look at more that, than that view. Look at the palm tree action. Look at the mountains. Look at the clouds. Look at that. Look at it. Now respect it. That's Lizzo's house. $26 million. You know what the property taxes on that? A year in California. <laughs> Just the property taxes on that bitch. <laughs> Man, imagine how much she has to pay the pool guy when he comes out. Man. That ain't a $50 pool. You know, like when they come to my house, hey, here you go, $50. <laughs> Lizzo's pool? She ain't paying that man $50. Okay, if no, she is paying him $50, he's a slave. Yeah, the only, there ain't nobody being oppressed in this country. The only people that's been oppressed in this country is people doing it to themselves. Mm-hmm. People walk around here thinking, oh, I'm black. I can't do this. I can't do that yeah. unless I vote for a damn Democrat. And then maybe they'll help me get somewhere in my life. That's Those people are impressing, oppressing themselves. This, yeah. this is not an oppressive society in America. And I hate to see black women talk like this. As, as successful you are, I mean, it feels like you're being disingenuous. It's like you're putting out this message, this idea that black people are being oppressed when this is the best country in the world for a black person to live. Yeah. I mean, it's like someone's putting you 
up it's, to this, like like you're trying to put out a message to black people so they'll think a certain way, so, so they'll vote a certain way. Yeah, yeah. You you feeling me on this? I'm feeling you on What I'm trying to tell you, Lizzo, I think you a sellout. <laughs> You done sold your soul to the white liberal man. I think you need some money to pay these damn property taxes in California. Man, it's just, it's just, man, and I, I understand you, um, the like, there's another picture. She's got her own private jet. She's got a private jet. Yeah, look at that. That's a Rolls Royce right there, right? I don't know if that's hers or she paid the drive. Well, I'm, I'm thinking the jet's hers and the car's hers. They got the dude wearing the mask. Look, she got some more of that damn chain action going. She got some chain action. Man, yeah. that that's is a, a whole lot of ass. Yeah, we had to blur that because she likes to. Back in the day, she would be getting locked up for this shit. But Yeah, somebody that's being oppressed, you should have been locked up for this. <laughs> that's indecent exposure right there. You know who's being oppressed? Them damn heels you wearing. <laughs> if they had a mind and a mouth, ah, they being oppressed. Them stairs she, being oppressed. She got some. <laughs> I mean, I think you're like a young girl. She's yeah. a young girl right now. Yeah. I mean, you're you preach like body positivity, which is great. Everybody That's definitely. Should, they call a, a a what? What do they call it? A body positivity activist. No, that's a euphemism. I mean, you are a beautiful woman. You're a little heavy, though. A little? What you you using you for this? <laughs> I'm just saying you could lose some weight. No, but she that's her whole message. Be happy yeah. in the body you were born with. Um, yeah. I don't. I, I think people should have high self esteem and mm -hmm. look at themselves in the uh, in the best light. But yeah. long term, this is not good. You should body positivity has always been, you know, healthy. <laughs> What you're trying to say, body, body positivity has always been linked to your waistline. Your longevity has been linked to your waistline. Yeah. I mean, you feel good now, but I'm telling you, I'm in my 40s. Yeah. The stuff I used to do when I was in my 20s, like yeah. you are. Yeah. Man, that is, man. <laughs> well, Keith, well, Keith well, is trying to say he sees a couple hip replacement surgeries. I see, and some, I, <laughs> I see some knee replacements coming. I see some bunions in your future. She probably, goddamn, everybody get bunions. <laughs> Especially wearing heels with them small feet you got. <laughs> them damn strong ass feet you got. Yeah, but I'm not going to be like most conservatives. You're a beautiful woman. You're a successful woman. Yeah, I just like hate to see other black women come out here and say these things about our people when you know it's true. Your life is determined by your your ideas, your motivation, yeah. and your decision making. Yeah. You've made great ideas. You've made some unhealthy eating choices. But overall, you've been making some great choices in your yeah, life. And that's why you're successful. Yeah. It has nothing to do with your race. There was once upon a time in this country when it was systemically racist. Yeah. People of our color and stuff was, you wouldn't, you didn't get the opportunities that mm -hmm. the white people get. But now this country has totally made it a, a change for the better. And you still saying you're being oppressed. Yeah. When yeah. you got a private jet, a $26 million house, damn Rolls Royce, damn helicopters, pork outside your shit. This is crazy. That was a damn good show. For more damn good shows, click the link right here or the link in the description box. Don't forget to red pill the morons, the knuckle draggers, the progressives, the cavemen in the comment section. Yeah.